Hi everyone, today we will discuss about in problem solving. So for 1.1, steps in problem solving. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify 5 steps in problem solving. Remember, you have to identify 5 steps in problem solving. Okay, before we continue, what is problem solving? The process that programmers follow when solving problems that require a computer solution. Remember the keyword, programmers follow when solving problems that require a computer solution. Steps in problem solving. Five steps in problem solving. So the first one, problem analysis. Problem analysis. So remember, P and A. Okay. Second, we have a design a solution. D. Number three, we have implementation. Remember, I. Fourth, we have testing. T. And the last one, we have documentation, D. For step one, problem analysis. Okay, problem analysis used to analyze problems and develop algorithms. So if you see in this phase, a programmer must review and define the problems. Second, I have to identify the data input process and output for the program start with output so to identify the output you have to imagine the results make sure you read the questions or statement what is the result you must imagine the result or what to find or calculate identify input read the data it means what data is needed to get the output. Third, process, perform the computation. Explanation of how to process the data to get the output. So please remember this keyword. Okay, output, imaging the result, input, read the data, and the last one, process. Perform the computation. Output should answer the following questions. Okay, what does the user want to see printed on the printer? Display on the screen or stored in a file? Second, input should answer following question. What information will the computer need to know to print, display, or store the output items. Okay, number three, processing items. So, an intermediate value that the algorithm use when processing the input into the output. Step 2. Design a solution. Design a solution is to sequence of well-defined steps to solve a problem or you can say step by step. Remember, step by step instructions to transfer input into output or identify an effective procedure for solving a problem. So in this phase, a programmer must developing an algorithm by write a serial code and or draw a flow chart. Step 3, implementation is the process of implementing an algorithm by writing a computer program using a programming language. 
So, for example, using Java language. Okay, transfer the algorithm into coding. So, in this space, a programmer will translate the logic from the CDU code or flowchart or some other tool to a programming language. Step 4. Testing steps. Okay, is to run the program, execute all the instructions, functions, and test the logic by entering sample data to check the output and at the same time is finding and correcting the program code if necessary. It's known as debugging. So in this phase, a programmer goal is to demonstrate the program correctness and to ensure that the program meet user requirement. And the last step, documentations, if you see, is a written detail, a description of the programming cycle and specific facts about the program. So in this phase, the documentation will help to those who use, maintain and extend the program in the future. So, this one take note, the importance of documentation. Why we need uh, documentation? So, enable program to understand the flow of the program. Second, for future reference. Third, to guide user to use the program. And the last, explain the purpose of code state. And the last, explain the purpose of code statement. Okay, second, uh, we have um, types of error. Syntax error. Okay, occurs when the code violates the syntax or grammar of the programming language. So, when the programmer fails to obey one of the grammar rules of the language. Okay, example, we have uh, misspelling a command or leaving out required command. Second, we have a logic error. So, flow in program design that causes incorrect result. So, example, sum equal to num1 minus num2. So, obviously, you have to write num1 plus with num2. Number three, we have a runtime error, program error, or event that causes the program to stop running. Remember, stop running. Okay, I guess whenever the program instructs the computer to do something that it is either incapable or unwilling to do. So, example, dividing a number by zero. Okay. Variable not declared before using it. 